Today I am going to explain short division. Short division is the best method to use for dividing numbers when the divisor is a small number. When the divisor is a number between 2 to 12 because you know the tables of these numbers by heart. Short division is the preferable method for small divisors because by using this method we can solve a division sum faster than while using long division to solve the same sum. Let's do an example. 37,826 divided by 6. I'll do, short, uh, I'll do long division first. So arrange the divi dividend and the divisor. Start by dividing 3 by 6 which is not possible. 3 is smaller than 6 so I write 0. And then I take 3 and 7 together. 6 will go 6 times in 37. 6 6 is a 36. So I write that below 37 and when I subtract 37 minus 36 I get the remainder 1 and I bring down 8. Now divide 18 by 6 it will go 3 times. 6 3s are 18 and 18 minus 18 is 0 and I bring down 2. Now 2 is smaller than 6 so I can't divide 2 by 6. So I put a 0 as the quotient and I bring down the next digit 6. Divide 26 by 6, it will go 4 times. 26 minus 24 is 2. So I got the quotient and remainder. Quotient is equal to 6304 and remainder is equal to 2. Now for the same sum, when you do short division, when you use short division method, you write the dividend and instead of drawing the line above the dividend, you draw the line below the dividend for short division. In long division, you write the quotient above the dividend, whereas in short division, the quotient will be written below the dividend. I start dividing. I cannot divide 3, so I put a 0 and take 3 and 7 together. 37 divided by 6 will be 6. 6 6 is at 36 and the remainder is 1. So that 1 I will write above 8 and divide 1 8 18 by 6. 6 3s are 18 so I write 3 as the quotient and the remainder is 0. So I won't write any remainder and I since I can't divide 2 by 6 I write 0 and take 2 and 6 together. 6 4s are 24 and 26 minus 24 is 2. So that 2 is the final remainder so I write it on top. And because it is the final remainder, I draw a circle around 2 to make it clear. And then I write the quotient and the remainder as the answer. So did you see how faster it is than long division? I got the answer in one step itself. Let us solve a sum. 61,258 divided by 4. I write the dividend draw the line below the dividend and write the divisor 4 on the left start dividing the first digit 6 divided by 4 4 will go once in 6 4 ones are 4 and 6 minus 4 the remainder is 2 I write that 2 above 1 and divide 21 by 4 4 will go 5 times in 21 4 fives are 20 and 21 minus 20 is 1 so the remainder 1 I write above 12 and divide 12 by 4. 4 will go 3 times in 12. 4 3s are 12. So the remainder is 0. So I have to just divide 5 by 4. And 4 will go once in 5. 4 1s are 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1. I write that 1 above 8 and divide 18 by 4. 4 will go 4 times in 18. 4 4s are 16 and 18 minus 16 is 2. So that 2 is my final remainder. So uh, I'll draw a circle around it to make it clear and write the quotient and the remainder. Q is equal to 15,314 and R is equal to 2. Another example, 54,781 divided by 12. So I wrote the dividend, drew the line below it and wrote the divisor 12 on the left. When I start dividing, 5 is smaller than 12. I can't divide, so I put a 0 and take 5, 4, 54 together. 
54 divided by 12 is 4. 12 fours are 48 and 54 minus 48 is 6. So 6, 7, 67 divided by 12 is 5. 12 fives are 60 and 67 minus 60 is 7. So 7, 8, 78 divide 78 by 12. 12 will go 6 times in 78. 12 sixes are 72 and 78 minus 72 is 6. Now divide 6, 1, 61 by 12. 12 will go 5 times in 61. 12 fives are 60. And 61 minus 60 is 1. And 1 is the final remainder. So I draw a circle. And then I will write Q and R. Q is equal to 4565. And R is equal to 1. So you see how easy short division is, especially when you, the divisor is a small number and you know the tables of that number.